Seven years ago, a small and mighty group of diverse survivors came together to say, enough. They were survivors of gun violence, domestic violence, sexual assault, abuse, human trafficking, and other violent crimes. For too long, the voices of the people who are most harmed and least helped by our justice system had been left out of the conversation on public safety. Our safety. And so the Crime Survivors for Safety and Justice movement was born. That year, during National Crime Victims' Rights Week, 100 crime survivors traveled by bus from across California for the first survivor speak. The whole narrative around how you respond to crime and tough on crime, those policies, they weren't informed by us. Like, that's really a political debate. It has nothing to do with what crime survivors really want or need. In 2019, we saw survivors speak grow to five states as thousands of crime survivors across the country traveled to their capitals to make our message heard. We shared our stories with lawmakers, reporters, and we were joined by public officials, artists, and entertainers. We began to change the narrative on who we are and what justice and safety really means. What we're asking for is to help change the criminal justice system because we're spending billions of dollars on a system that doesn't make us safe. And if that system don't make us safe, we have to set forth a new vision for safety. So that means more restorative justice programs, you know, more trauma recovery centers across the country. Crime survivors actually want more investments into rehabilitation, prevention, trauma recovery, and treatment to stop the cycle of crime. Today we are over 40,000 members strong, with 38 chapters around the country. We advocated to help pass criminal justice reforms in Florida while increasing access to victim services. In Illinois, we've partnered with state leaders to reduce incarceration, increase rehabilitation, and secure record investments in trauma recovery services. Ohio now has the second most trauma recovery centers in the nation, and California continues to advance justice reforms that improve safety and increase access to crime victim services. All because when survivors speak, change happens. Now in our seventh year, Survivors Speak is coming to seven states. Thousands more will gather in over 50 U.S. cities during our National Healing Vigil Day of Action on April 25th to honor the loved ones we've lost, recognize our own survivor experiences, and elevate our vision for safety. This year, let's change history and turn our healing to action. Join us.